We showed you this video at the top of the show, now viral, of fire trucks spinning out of control, somehow able to stop before hitting a home. This happened in Imperial. Our Caroline Hecker is there tonight talking to the neighbors who witnessed all of this. Caroline? Well, I want to paint the scene for everybody. That hill you see in that video, it's a very steep part of the street, and it really comes around a sharp bend here. So even in the best of weather, it's probably pretty tricky to navigate. And like you said, while the videos shot by these neighbors are simply incredible, they all tell me things could have been a lot worse. Oh, Homeowners in this imperial neighborhood woke up to a loud boom on Monday morning as a Rock Community fire truck lost control on their icy street, slamming into a car and just missing a nearby home. Caitlin Voicey recorded the now viral video. She called 911 after an accident moments before, prompting the fire department's response. We woke up this morning to a loud crashing sound. Uh, the blue car had slid down our hill um, and smacked into my car and then was lodged on top of a fire hydrant and electrical box. But as the fire truck was approaching, Boise says she had a bad feeling given the icy conditions. The fireman said that he tried to aim for the grass in the tree to stop it, um, but the back wheels just slid around him and he came uh, burling this way. Uh, he crashed into the blue car that was on top of the fire hydrant. Um, luckily, I think that slowed him down enough that it didn't roll or crash into the house. Joe Lawson was letting his dogs out when he saw the accident at the bottom of the hill. Right as I was taking the picture, I saw the fire truck just come flying down the road right here. He started recording, capturing the fire truck hitting the blue car in Boise's side yard and coming to a rest just inches from the neighbor's home. The fire truck was coming down so fast. I don't know if it was because they just lost control completely and they were flying down, but they started to circle and spiral right here. Um, and right after they had done that, they hit that blue car. And I think that hitting that blue car really preventing them from hitting the house. The Rock Community Fire Protection District says all four firefighters on board were not hurt and credits the driver for preventing a more severe crash. There's some skill. There's some quick thinking. Um, we're very proud and grateful for our driver having those skills and abilities about him in this very chaotic and stressful situation. Now, neighbors tell me that hill this morning, as you can probably tell, was complete sheet of ice. And the fire department, while they were here, once everybody was okay, was cleaning up some of the debris, neighbors told me, and several salt trucks came by and salted this hill, which allowed the fire truck to then get out very easily. Now, the fire department says there was a little bit of damage done to that 56,000-pound fire truck, but all four firefighters continued with their shift. We're live in Imperial tonight. Caroline Hecker, First Alert 4. You know, I've watched that video maybe 50 times today. It's incredible every single time I see it. All right, thank you, Caroline. And coming up here at 630, you're going to hear even more of why this fire truck avoiding hitting the house wasn't just a matter of luck. If you